like a friggin' mountain goat. Hi everybody, still here in Santoff near the airfield and we're at a massive uh, car place now I don't know what they do here, I don't know if it's a car scrapyard or anything the only thing is I can see them loading a car transporter <laughs> with a full <phone> truck <coughs> and I'll be honest I've never ever seen that before so let's go and have a look yeah they look like uh, like wreckers to be honest and scrap vehicles now I've never seen this before I've never seen anybody loading a car transporter with a fork truck before and I, I used to drive car transporters Nice big globe truck coming through. So these are all scrappers, are they? Yeah, it's, it's going through the area. All cars going through the area for the stairs. They're going for sale? Yeah, for sale. But what? they sell spares, parts, for parts. Oh, oh, yeah, for parts, yeah, yeah, that's what I meant, yeah, yeah. Where are they going? Anywhere interesting? If going is interesting, yeah. <laughs> if, some, if guys buy so that means interesting. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, have never seen this done before. Right, so apparently these are going to Lithuania. It's going to take him three days to get there and he's going to put another three vehicles on. When they get to Lithuania, they're going to be uh, broken for scrap. And uh, somebody will make some money on it. Did that make you jump? <laughs> Alright, so it looks like he's going to uh, go up the top there now. No, what you'd call safe working practices without the railings up. I suppose you've got to take him down to uh, allow the fork trucks to work. At least he's putting them back up now, hopefully. Right then, so here we go. Just putting the back stops in for the wheels. Now, I know we're not getting a lot of interaction with the people that are working here like I normally do, but. Uh, this is really, really interesting stuff. It's a busy old road, this.
I was going to move the front end over a little bit. The driver seems happy with that. Yeah, to do it, carry in your eight-hand fork truck. <laughs> Some fantastic working practices here. Right, so it's moved, just move that platform forward with that car, so you can get another one in, hopefully. It's a fit lad. <laughs> and here he comes with the next car. Oh, it's a shame I missed that, it's just jumped down off at top. <laughs> it's definitely a fit lad this one. So now he's adjusting the position of all the vehicles and get this last one on which is a, a fairly big car the other thing he's got to worry about is making sure it's low enough to get under all the bridges I don't know how he's going to work out what his height is in the cab because uh, here in the UK he needs, to, uh, he needs to display inside the cab the total height of the vehicle so how he's going to do that I don't know not my worry, it's his. Oh, it's fetched a smaller car this time. It's a 13 wedge, so it's not that old. It's only nine year old, that motor. So it's moving that vehicle back so we can get this one in.
So there you go, the driver's telling him exactly where he wants it. He's going to climb up again like a mountain goat, I imagine. Are you going to get that one on the all? Really? Are you really going to get that one on the all? Oh, I'm back. I must admit, I do admire your skill doing this. I take it you do it all the time, do you? Maybe once a week, then. That just loaded that one there as well, that, that curtain side of there. Six, right. Six cars in there on the stands. All right, OK. So, is this an auction place here, then? Yeah, there it is, yeah. So people come along, buy scrap cars, and then... Yeah. They're not all scrap, though, are they? That you sell? Some of them uh, fit to walk around again, but a lot of them uh, are all breakers. Yeah, but is that all you sell, breakers, or do you sell good cars as well? Yeah, they sell, sell up one or two, right? Yeah. Now I find this really, really interesting. I'd love to see this last one going on. Yeah. That one, two wheels on curb, yeah. yeah. You what, sorry? Am I all right to pop it here? I'm only going to be here another five, ten minutes. All right, that. So they've just asked me to run my car. I nearly got loaded on a truck and sent to Poland. He says, don't worry about it, we'll give you 50 quid for it, so I'm going to go and move it now. You what? <laughs> no, I don't want my Toyota on there, mate. What's he going to do here now? Is he going to pick it up from behind and push it on? Yeah, like I said, it's like he's going to pick it up from behind and shove it on. So there, see, if you think that fork trucks are just made for loading and unloading pallets, <laughs> think again. Okay, back. Okay. Is that it done now?
Is that it you done? Thanks for letting me watch you and videoing it mate. Very, it was really interesting, it really was. Oh yeah, yeah, be, it'll be one day next week. What's your first name? James. James? Alright James. See you later mate. Like a friggin' mountain goat. Thank you very much. Hi. Have a safe journey. Did you film it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube. Me too. <laughs> yeah, you'll be on YouTube. Okay. All right. All right. What's your first name? Audrey. 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 That's your first name? Yeah, it's Don't ask me to pronounce it, I yeah, can't yeah, pronounce it's, that. It's not easy for you. <laughs> now, have a safe journey. Okay, thank you. Well, how interesting was that? <laughs> that was fantastic. I really enjoyed watching them do it. Right pair of lads, and this lad up, jumping up and down here, he's like a mountain goat, he really is. He, uh, he's got to be fit. Right, anyway, that's about the video over and done with. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one, hopefully. Bye, everybody.